When it comes to capturing wireless frames, there are a couple of ways to do it. We talk about this on the Clear to Send podcast for the Mac and Windows operating system. You can find that over at cleartosend.net slash 121 and slash 125. But sometimes you want something with more flexibility, with less tools, and a method that doesn't take away the functionality of your own wireless adapter on your laptop. The guys over at Echohow created a separate application called Echohow Capture. It's part of the suite of tools under Echohow Connect. And so with this Echohow Capture utility, you plug in your Echohow Sidekick into your laptop, and then you should be able to select the channels you want to capture wireless frames from. There are some uh, hardware capabilities that you have to take into consideration. The Echohow Sidekick is what is called a 0x3x3. By three by three. That means there are no transmit radio chains, three receive chains, and it is three spatial streams capable. So you're going to capture data rates up to a three receive, three spatial stream capable device. And so that's one thing to take into consideration. It's going to be very similar to, say, a wireless adapter on the latest MacBook Pro, maybe the 20, uh, 2015 model or 2019 model. So why don't we dive into the application and I can show you how to capture frames using Echohow Capture. All right, so I have Echohow Capture open right here on my computer. I'm using Mac OS X. I do have my Echohow Sidekick plugged in. As you can tell, I can see my battery indicator. And if you have any questions, that's my email address. And the one thing I want you to see is if you click on options, you can have the uh, frame capture saved automatically to a location uh, of your, your choice. So I have it saved here to my desktop. And one thing that's important here is this channel dwell time. By default, that is set to 250 milliseconds. That is the time the sidekick is going to take to capture on a specific channel before it goes to the next channel that you have selected. And uh, here I can tell that I'm, I'm already on channel 108 at 40 megahertz, so that's where we're going to capture for this video. So I go here to 5 gigahertz, I select channel 108 and channel 112 because I'm capturing 40 megahertz. Now if you wanted to select another channel, they don't have to be um, adjacent channels you can select another channel that that is most relevant to you but consider how long it's going to dwell on each channel so if you have too many channels selected that's going to affect all the captures that you have so I would limit this to whatever channels you're trying to troubleshoot if it's a roaming issue you're going to want to select the channel that the device is connected to and what channel the device you expect it to associate to on, an, on another AP. So in this case, I'm just going to capture on channels 108 and 112. I'm going to click on capture. And as you can see the on the bottom left here, it says it's capturing on the channels and how much the uh, of, of how much data is already captured here for this capture I'm doing. And when you're done, all you have to do is click on stop and from there we can see that the file just popped up on my desktop so I'm gonna click that it's gonna open up in Wireshark because I have Wireshark already installed on my computer and here we go we can see all these different connections on channels 108 and 112 I can see that it's a ruckus wireless network with we got some Apple devices talking here and that's about it. That's how you go about capturing files with, or capturing frames with Echohow Capture. So if you have any comments or questions down below, let me know in the comments section.